Hey, what's up, your girl Bella? Welcome back to my channel. Before I get started, I want to say like, if my shelves look crooked, I don't really know what to do. Now that I'm in this new apartment with this new setup, I feel like my shelves look crooked in the background, but my camera is straight. So maybe my shelves are leaning and I just don't know. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to be going book shopping. I have one book shopping in a little bit. I have a dog right here and she wants all the attention. I just got back. In today's video, we will be going book shopping. I'm going to Barnes & Noble, Target, and Community Thrift Store. This is filmed over the span of two days. I went book shopping a few days ago at Community Thrift Store, and then today it's just going to be Barnes & Noble's and Target. I've actually never bought any book at Barnes & Noble's before because they're just so overpriced. Like, there are just cheaper ways to get books at Target, on Amazon. And if I'm going to buy a book for that much full price, I'd rather get it at even, like, a local bookstore it just Barnes and Noble is just so expensive in my opinion I I just can't justify it but I'm gonna go there today and maybe find something but I have some books on my radar that I want to get so I will start off with Barnes and Noble and Target and then I will include some footage from earlier in the week when I went to community thrift store and my arm is moving a lot because I'm I'm petting Zeta she wants some attention now let's just go ahead and get started Jesus, guy to greatness. <laughs> We're gonna take paint one. Three. Teddy Pendergrass. I think back in the day they were close. Yeah, I don't think they're as close, but I think they're still cool. Yeah. I haven't asked her. But I still be seeing them coming under each other's stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm filming this clip actually earlier than the other clips. All the other clips seen in this video were filmed on Saturday. This is being filmed on Tuesday. I'm not really in the mood to bookshop, but I 
feel like y'all like this video. Ouch! I forgot I cut my finger. I just put hand sanitizer on. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is like not a good clip. But anyway, this is really my real life. Anyway, <laughs> I'm book shopping and I decided I would go to the thrift store first. I told y'all many a times. This is a thrift store I go to. It's called Community Thrift Store. They always have good books. I just got six books for $16 and five of them are my TBR. And one of them I was literally just thinking about earlier today and how I really wanted to read it. And they had two copies of it at the bookstore. It's um, the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So that's one of the books I got out, which y'all know that now. But I love this bookstore. If you're in Charlotte, you have to, I said bookstore. This is not a bookstore, this is a thrift store with a very small book section, but they always have such good books in this section and they're so cheap. So if you're in Charlotte, you absolutely have to come to community thrift store like they should just sponsor me i come here so much and get books and the books are always changing i mean there are even more popular books than what i even grabbed but i don't need to get every single book i don't even know if i have space for these on my shelves so yeah i will show you guys what i got in the haul portion but just wanted to let you all know that community thrift store did me very good i have not been here in over a month and selection amazing they did a great job okay guys so i am i am back so i ended up going to barnes and nobles first i did not buy anything from there i just i just couldn't justify buying those books for that price when i know i can go on like book outlet and get them brand new for free i can go i mean brand new for free lol i know i can go on book outlet and get them cheaper target get them cheaper amazon get them cheaper even a local bookstore get them for the same price if not maybe a teensy bit cheaper i just couldn't justify it i enjoyed being there i enjoyed the vibe the starbucks i went to was like all desserts i don't know if that's how it always is in bars and Noble, but they had like cheesecake cupcakes zeta i wanted a breakfast sandwich they didn't have any i guess their oven broke but anyway i did get books from target so i'll show you all those so from target the first book that i was looking for was actually paris the memoir this is paris hilton's memoir and y'all this book is so freaking pretty the front and the back like uh i love paris hilton she's such an icon i love her little baby voice i love the how she like is the face of early 2000s y2k style and i've actually already read this i listened to it via audio earlier this week and this book is so heartfelt like by the cover you probably think it's gonna be like a little like cutesy book like no this book is really really deep it talks about her experience going to i think it's called sidu which is one of those like really weird schools therefore like troubled youth or like bad youth and they send you there and act like they're going to you know do a lot of good reform but they end up doing like a lot of like sexual abuse physical abuse emotional emotional mental abuse and a lot of those schools still exist so she talks about her experience going to one how she was like running away constantly now she's now trying to work with legislation to get those schools abolished so this book looks super cute but it's super heartfelt and i just had to buy a copy of it this is going to my best 10 books of 2023 like hands down i just love this so much and she's such an icon like i literally love this woman so i had to buy this like i literally had to and yeah i'll probably talk about this more in my april wrap up the next book is just the nicest couple by mary kubica i don't even know if this is actually on my tbr but i'm doing a video where i read 2023 new release thrillers so the other two that i'm reading for that video were on my tbr and i got them from the library but when i went to target today i was like let me just find a third book for that video because i didn't have a third one so if I like this I'll keep it if I don't I will give it back to Target. This is gonna be one of the next books that I read that way if I do need to return it it will be within the return policy limit because sometimes books have a shorter return policy limit. And then the last book I got from Target is Before I Let Go by Candy Ryan. I've also already read this book but I gave this book four stars. I enjoyed it. It's a second chance romance about a divorced couple and it's also very heartfelt. It's literally blurred by Colleen Hoover if that tells you anything about the book being heartfelt. Actually, this one, okay, it's blurred by Colin Hoover, but this one is blurred by Tia Williams. But the library copy I got was blurred by Colleen. So that's interesting. But there's a lot of people who talked about it. There's Emily Henry, Talia Hibbert, Helen Huang, Farrah Rashawn. I'm very confused about where is Colleen's. Maybe this is like an older copy or something. I don't know. Got this. I've already read it, but I wanted to own it because I do want to own some more Candy Ryan and I want to add this to my shelf. Okay, so the next books I got are from Community Thrift Store. I don't even remember what I got because whenever I thrift books or get library books, whenever books are used and they come into my house, I always put them in the freezer. I have a fear of insects and God forbid by the blood of Jesus that's over this house, a bed bug will never enter my house. Amen. But I like to be a little bit careful. So whenever I get used books, I always put them in the freezer for a few days just to be on the safe side. And I always like flip through them first to make sure they don't have 
any weird looking splotches on them but i'll show you all what i got so i got a couple of books i got like five or six and these were all on my tbr so i got pachinko by min jin lee i don't remember what this book is even about i've heard things about it i think kenya just had this book in one of her videos and she didn't give it like the highest praise and it's it's nowhere on my near tbr this book is over 500 pages but i wanted to own it and i figured like maybe i'll read it and i'll really enjoy it so pachinko i got this book it's called redeeming love by francine rivers this is a romance but i think it has to do with i'm pretty sure it has to do with christianity there's a blurb that says redeeming love is a literary is a literary masterpiece reminding us that god's love is unconditional i read it 20 years ago and even now the story reverberates in my mind i knew this book would be a classic and this one says by karen kinsbury redeeming love has a special way of infusing the great and indescribable love of god straight into the heart of the reader it's a must read for anyone longing for the love of our father so i don't know if this is a romance but it is a fiction book i know it talk about Christianity in it and so I really am excited to read this like it's on my TBR and when I saw it I was like no way because I, I just did not think I would see this book at the thrift store so I was super excited about that. I also got The Wife Upstairs. This book is a thriller. I don't remember exactly what it's about. I think it came out last year. As you can see it has a book of the month token on it so someone got it from book of the month and gave it to the thrift store which is pretty common book of the month book since they are generally new releases but yeah i'm pretty excited about this one as well if it wasn't from the thrift store i would not buy this because i've heard very mixed reviews so i would not personally spend like my money on a like full price copy of this but i spent 3.98 so then i have one more bag oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited about this one i was literally thinking about this book and how i want to buy it earlier in the day and then I saw it at the thrift store. So, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. This is a horror book. It sounds like it's gonna be really fun. And whenever I read it, I'm just gonna go into it with the mindset of it being fun and silly. I do wanna do a video where I read like all vampire books. Maybe I'll do that closer to like fall, October time, but I definitely do want to read this this year. And I'm just so excited that I saw it at the thrift store. They actually had two copies of it, so I grabbed the cheaper copy. Another book is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. She's an Igbo babe. My mom actually read this book earlier this year and she really enjoyed it. It is about a couple living in Nigeria and one of them ends up going to America and they, I believe, want to reunite in America, but something happens. I'm not exactly sure, but I love books by Nigerians. So I'm just gonna like clean this book off along with the other ones and then put them on my shelves. This was only $1.98. And then lastly, I this was not on my TBR, but I got it. It's by Ruth Ware and it's called The Death of Mrs. Castaway. No, The Death of Mrs. Westaway. So this is another thriller that I got and don't really have any expectations going into it. I own like two Ruth Ware books now, I think. But I need to just read them because she's one of those authors that people have mixed opinions on. But I'm hoping she'll be an author that I enjoy. So I got this. All right, so that is my bookstore shopping video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of these books. Or actually, let me know the last book that you bought because I'm very, very curious. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more bookish and lifestyle content. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.